What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Ravnica Allegiance draft here on Magic Online. And we're going to try to not one-two it this time. We're going to try to not one-two it. Yesterday, we had a couple, a pair of one-twos. Uh, to be fair to myself, I'd like to think we got, uh, you know, on, on the bad side of the mana gods. But, um, you know, here we are. So we're going to try to... We're going to try to... I was going to say we're going to try to, like, not let that happen, but that's not really a thing you can consciously do. You can't really, like, I'm going to physically uh, improve my, my luck, my mana luck. Like, there's no way to do that. You can't try to do that. Mm. Perhaps alternatively, perhaps our problem is uh, that there are no mana gods here. Perhaps they have all gone. So two out of eight, just hanging out. How you guys doing? You guys come here often? You guys, uh, you guys got any big plans for the weekend? Just uh, going to the, you know, going to having a picnic or barbecuing with your friends. Hanging out, hanging out in the queue. Feeling real lonely here. I'm two of eight. Me and this one other dude are just hanging out. And we're like, it's like when you go to the game store and there's going to be a draft at like at four and it's 356 and you and one other dude are the only one there. And you're like, I don't know how long we wait for this. How long, how long before we just go leave and go do something else? And then the guy's like, do you just want to play? Do you have your, do you have a deck with you? Do you want to play? And I'm like, I don't really, I wanted to draft, but I'm here now. So. It's awkward to pretend that I didn't want to play Magic because that's the whole reason I'm here. I'm real uncomfortable. And then you end up like, oh, no, I got other plans. You can't even say you have other plans because they know you're there to play Magic. Like, you devoted two hours to, to playing a draft. So then it's like, well, you're done. And that's basically the one reason I don't bring constructed decks with me to places because I just don't want to get roped into, like, having to sit down and play matches if I don't want to, you know? So I'm just like, mm, no, I don't have any decks on me. And they're like, oh, I have two decks. And I'm like, well, I guess you got me then. I guess I can't get uh, can't get out of that one. Three three people in this queue. This is a, uh, it's a real adventure we're having together. I'm glad you guys can go along on this ride with me. I'm glad we could share this moment. Michael McGimp in the chat is like, you want me to join this draft? <laughs> I'm like, hey man, if you want to join and you want to fill this queue. Oh look, now people are jumping in. A group of five people just got out of their car and they're like, hey you guys, were you guys having a draft? And we're like, yeah man, we've been waiting for you guys the whole time. <gasps> lucky, 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 lucky. That's 30 Tickerinos. I'm going to put it... I'm going to very gently put it down here. Oh, a Gatebreaker. Oh, Rhythm of the Wild. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this murderous row of, of busted uncommons and commons up here. Wow. That is nice. That is a nice boy. Uh, yeah, so I don't think this guy's great yet. I like the Ram at all points. The Rhythm of the Wild is also pretty nuts. Like, we could be a uh, teamer pretty easily, I would imagine. This is very easy to splash. I'm going to take the Rhythm because I think it's actually the strongest card in this pack. Oh, look, Bullrack. Bullrack, who is also in the chat right now, let's not forget. Also a Savage Smash and a Frenzied Airings. This pack's also, even if Fairy Duelist comes back, I don't know if any of these green, red, or blue cards are coming back. We'll probably get a Root Snare, I bet. I'll even take this on the wheel. I think it's totally fine. Oh, the Ram is great, but it requires you to play a bunch of, of Gates, and I don't know if I want to have a ton of Gates in our deck. Smash is great. I think it's probably Bullrack, especially if we're going, especially with Rhythm and Crassus, because we're going to have a... Uh, 
Yo from Denmark. Trying a new greeting. What do you think? I think it works. I think I think it fits you. I like it. Okay. Well, we just we just dried up really quickly. That is unfortunate. I'm gonna take this Sil Sylvan brush strider. Oh, I think Erinx is great. I think they're both great. I think the reason I err on the side of something like this is because it's an uncommon, so the odds of me getting more of them is lower. But, um, yeah, I'm okay with it. I'm going to take this Sylvan Brush Rider. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, Frilled Mystic? Wow. Wow, you guys are really just... You guys just... This is amazing. This is like my birthday. Is it my birthday? Oh my god. Also Chillbringer, man. Hmm. Is it Chillbringer or is it Frilled Mystic? I feel like it's just Frilled Mystic, man. Okay, <laughs> okay, listen, listen. It's not my birthday, it's Mike's birthday, okay? Can you guys, don't ruin the meme. I'm gonna go with Frilled Mystic. I just, I, I, I can't like, oh, open the gates is nice, especially if we get, uh, you know, some gates. This card is pretty busted. This 3-5 common spider is pretty busted. Just want to let you know that there's a Lunar New Year bundle in Hearthstone. 10 packs of the three most recent sets for 20 bucks, and they are spicy. Wait, are they spicy? Are they like, are they, are they? Wow, another bull rack? Dang, now I wish I did take the Arynx. Um, Are they like seeded? Like, do they have different, do you have, are your chances higher is what I'm getting at here? Are, do you have higher odds to get the cards you want? Not really cards you want, but like, I mean, mine were okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's what we're talking about here. All right. I mean, mine were okay. Well, I think it's, I think it's just other Borax. Borax is just real good. I'll take Tutu. I don't, I'm not going to love taking Tutu, but I'll take it. Oh, this Savage Smash came back. Wow. People know this just is just like one of the solid removal spells in the set, right? Like it's a plus two, plus two, and fight a dude. The reason I like this better than the Titanic one, the uh, the, the the two mana one, is because it doesn't plus. So like if you have a three two, you're just gonna trade. You're like you're not killing them. You're just trading. But like plus two, plus two, a five four kills everything and usually survives. Mike's birthday is on, well, considering every day is Mike's birthday. Yes, it is on Chicken Sunday. Alright, so not too bad so far. I like the way this deck looks. We could easily cut the Hydroid Crassus. No, just kidding. We probably never cut. The, I don't think this is ever cuttable. And oh, we did get the gross spasm, the, the gross spiral back. That's pretty gas. So I'm pretty sure we're splashing red because double blue. Oh, I like Sagittarius Volley. We didn't see any Simic or. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We didn't see any Simic or Gruul Guild Gates, I don't think, to the best of my knowledge. I guess we'll have to. I guess we'll have to let it slide because we opened thirty dollars. But mm -mm, okay, this card and this card is actually pretty spicy, right? I guess so is this one. This is also five five. Oh man. <laughs> we sure did. Oh my god. It's one of these two. 
I mean, just being able to untap with this, play our six land, and then play this for like 12,000. I don't know how we lose there, right? This adds two, but this adds a million. It's also just a 5-5 five, five for five. Like, why don't we care about that? That seems like irrelevant to... The problem is casting not... Not being able to, uh, to cast non-creature spells is a relevant... Um, it's a relevant drawback. I'm going to take the Geyer. Wow, third bull rack. I'm not going to take a third bull rack. Oh, God. I really wish I had an Erinx now because I don't need three bull racks. His name also isn't Bullrack. His name is Bullrack Clan. He's from the Bullrack Clan. So, you know, that's different. I'm going to take this Essence Scatter, I guess. It's actually pretty good. Did I call this Essence Scatter? I meant Capture. I don't know. It's basically the same card. Is it possible to get any of the Guild Gates that we need? Is that a thing we can get? I feel like the answer is no, but it should be yes. Hmm. Hard to say. Hard to say. Uh, I kind of want this get to the point in case we get to a point. In case we get to... Oh, my mouse just died. My mouse dying during drafts is like... It's like the most Cheons ever. Alright, we got it back. It's probably just Wrecking Ball, right? Could just be second Mammoth Spider, too. Actually, I'll just take the Mammoth Spider. There. <sighs> Guys, let me know what to do here. Tell me what to do. I need advice. The problem is that when we get two Rhythm of the Wilds in our deck... I like Applied Biomancy. Hmm, okay, okay. Two X Riot is insane, and on the creatures that already have Riot, it's three X Riot. Is Biomancy better than Slime Bind? These are the questions we ask ourselves. Oh, Growth Spiral number two. I like that. Gate Colossus. I like a Gate Colossus, but not in this deck. I think we want Gross Spiral. We might just play 18 lands. This might be an 18 land deck, especially with Open the Gates and Double Gross Spiral. Oh, okay. I wish I like the guild gates are really kind of hating us. Open the gates makes you want more land because you can play open the gates and get one of the lands out of your deck. So then you're like, you're not actually affecting your land count. I mean, we have an issue with drawing lands. I want to take dealer relations capture. I think it's just probably better. Hmm. Oh, Rester's admonition is great. Sure. A late Simic Locket. I'll take it. And we're only splashing for like five red cards and they're all single red. So like one red is all we need. Which is nice with Open the Gates. I mean you can play fewer lands. Like Open the Gates does let you play fewer lands in the decks you want fewer lands in. But... Yeah, someone's definitely taking all of the gates. I'm going to actually put you in the deck because maybe you're relevant. I'm not like super opposed to playing Shimmer just to hit a land either, so. 
Our deck looks great after two packs. I just want to make sure we prioritize gates in this last pack. We also only have 10 creatures here. If we can get like three gates, I'd be okay. That card's great. Draw three if you cast during your mm -hmm. Saratok actually seems really nice here. Uh, Starform Hybrid is also great. Styrofoam Hybrid. Um, Alright, so I don't think we need this. It's either the four drop, which fits nicely here, or the two drop, which we don't actually have any of. But we do have double growth spiral, so I'm going to actually take the four drop here. You're going to go over here. I don't think you're great. And not a guild gate we need. I don't think we want a five drop. Could just be another applied biomancy. Also, like, if we just shimmer or open the gates, like, it's not bad. <laughs> Maybe a fourth color. I think we're good. I think we're good like this. Nope. Not still nope. Oh, hybrid's great. That's actually a nice hit. We could easily cut, like, one bull rock here. Actually, we can cut an essence capture. I don't actually love cutting creatures when we only have ten. Oh. Uh, Open the gates is probably what we want here. I would love to take this other Savage Smash, but I think two open the gates is probably going to... Like, thankfully, the only thing that needs... Oh, Simic Guild Gate. <sighs> okay, we did it. All right. One down, one down. Gruel Guild Gate? Oh, my God. It's all coming together, guys. We did it. We did it. Oh, we didn't do it anymore. It's all over. Uh, I do like a second Savage Smash. It's very good. Although this is 25 cards now. Hmm. Hmm. We can probably take a Rester's Admonition out if we, had if we have Applied Biomancy. It's pronounced Balork. I don't think that's true. Thank you. Cassius, welcome back, buddy. Thank you so much. Hey, thanks for all the great content, especially since I will be negative 30 here and I feel it might I might be stuck. Well, the weather on my end is okay, so I, I, I got you covered. I got you covered. Balork? I don't get it. I don't understand what's going on here. You're making some jokes here, and they're flying over my head. All right, I think we're out of guild gates. This is a really late gatebreaker ram. This is a great scorch mark, though. So I don't want to cut creatures, but like, I think the oh wow, sword from hybrid came back. Or no, this is this is probably our eighth pick, right? Shimmer can go. Actually, this is looking pretty decent. Yeah, this is looking pretty all right. Sick weather brags. Yeah, guys, I don't want to brag, but it's kind of nice here. It's basically uh, it's probably like sixty right now, which is it's a little chilly, but it's it's real nice. It's crisp. Whatever. Two drop is two drop. Thank you. Jiggity Jaws, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Two months in a row. Really appreciate it. 60 yesterday and now in the 30s. Wow, that's a pretty, that's a sizable change. I keep it crispy. I do what I can. I do what I can. I'm going to take this three drop. Uh, it might be Gruel Locket, actually. Gruel Locket's probably better than Simic Locket in the deck because we're probably going to maximize on Simmies. Maximize on Simmies is what he just said. What a friggin' weirdo. 
Maximize on simis? What the hell does that mean? Who says that? All right, I'm, I'm actually, I think this deck is actually uh, pretty all right. Look at all the two ofs in this deck. This deck is actually kind of crazy. Like, two of, two of. All of these are two ofs. All of these are two ofs, and all of these are two ofs. <laughs> this whole stack is just mono two ofs, man. These are the only one ofs in the deck. I think we just play 17 lands with 41 cards. I think that's actually with two open the gates and a roll locket. I'm okay with that. Uh, so two two mountains actually seems okay because it's one, two, three, four, five, six sources of red, and we only need one red source. Maybe go up to three. Four. Uh, so this is eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now it's like you know, we have seven and six, seven, eight. Yeah, I like that better. All right, let's try this out. I don't know. I don't know if this deck is is great, but it seems okay. Hmm. <laughs> well, we do have more forest islands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine green sources i mean this is obviously we have eight green sources and one two three four five six seven seven blue sources eight eight, eight seven which i think is totally fine we still want double blue here though and we also want a green and a blue for gross spirals and biomancies so i mean i could see going to nine seven but like i don't love it one of the only double cards in our deck is double blue as well so i like an even distribution Someone in someone on YouTube just said the complete lack of accessible green enchantment removal in this set boggles my mind, especially with all the strong enchantments. It makes the Gruel Mirror especially frustrating. I found, and I I actually completely agree with this. Uh, this is something we mentioned, uh, likely in that in that video where we were like, "Hey, uh, why can't I get rid of all these really really powerful green enchantments? I don't understand." And there was no real reason for it. We're waiting for David Cantro 0666 to come back. David Cantro, why you do this? It's about 100 friend here, which isn't outrageously by the comparison to some places, but with the gaping hole in the ozone layer directly above us. Thanks, rest of the world. That kind of heat is piercing hot. Oh my god. And then you have people on Twitter, we're not going to name any names, uh, making fun of global warming because it's so cold. Like, you have to be like like a, like a new level of stupid to not understand that climate climate and weather are two different things. And uh, getting immensely cold is still a result of global warming because it's called climate change. So that makes me mad. Funk Master Max, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. You're the hero we need. I don't know where our opponent is. I don't know that you should be willing to talk. You still love the other's plot. Hey, buddy, listen. You show me an edge and then we'll talk. Wait, no, don't show me an edge, because that would mean that would... I'll show you an edge, and then we'll talk. I don't think that works either. I'm going to be honest with you. I 
got nothing here. Oh, they came back. Oh, oh, this is a hand, all right. Oh, we're doing it. Oh, we're doing it. My excitement is real. I don't care about that at all, unless you mill. Wow, Rhythm, Biomancy, Smash, Open the Gates. Wow. <sighs> Holy crud. Don't quench this. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, one thing we can do is play Locket, Land... Oh, okay. Is this a mana ability? Nope, doesn't matter. Okay, well, that's... That's sad. Wow, that's amazing. That is amazing. Alright, well, that's... Sure, none of these are that exciting anymore. I wish I had a way to remove this, but unfortunately I'm playing green, so I don't have any ways to get rid of that. One, two, three, four, five. I'm tempted to actually just uh, Savage Smash on this before they can ever deal damage to it. So if we can draw like green or blue blue, I think we're in great shape here. God, I really wish they didn't like God, it's so sad. Sure. That guy's obnoxious, but this guy flies. If we can draw a blue here, we get to Oh, actually we don't need a second blue for Crassus. I guess any land does it, right? Yeah, that's pretty good. So one, two, what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. We draw three, gain three. Yeah, let's do that. It's okay, it's just a 6-6 six, six flyer. <laughs> Don't quench it, though. Get him! But he never drew another blue again. No, he did. One, two, three, four, so we got five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can actually play bull rack and keep up the. Never don't have double law mages binding in your two card hand. <laughs> I can't even handle it. I guess if we can, we got six counters, we can just uh, remove them all to kill them. This isn't too bad. Like, we get to draw two here. We get a Frilled Mystic. Yeah, sure. Ugh. I'm just, like, shocked how... Yeah, sure. The three seven's really hard to deal with. I actually don't know how we're going to deal with that. I mean, we have another Applied Biomancy that we can use, but... Let's kill that guy right now. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Would love to attack with my 6-6 six, six flyer. Easy breezy beautiful Borlack Borlack grill. Yep. All right, I guess we can kill that too, right? We can kill all the things. Yeah, I don't really care about that. Just 
Scorch Mark is not terrible, but it doesn't really do much here, unfortunately. It's not fighting, right? No, okay. One, two, three, four. We're just going to pass here. I literally don't know how to get through. This is really obnoxious. If we hit another Applied Biomancy, we can actually bounce our own Hydroid Crassus, which could be insane. Will Bulrak get his broccoli and cheddar? The world will never know. They have one card in hand. I think it's actually, I think it's time for the beats. As Doug Funny would say. It's time for the beats. So let's do one of these jobbies. Kill off this guy. And now we got up old Frilly. That actually, well, that actually went pretty well. Guess we can actually hold you back. The only thing you do here is block, and we don't have the luxury of killing you. All right, I feel like we actually just took over. Thanks to double bull rocks. Slime? No, we're just gonna ooze that. That's too good of a clock. Plus, it's your last card, so like, I mean, you could draw some runners here, but so could we. Trade? Just a straight trade? Okay. Game two seems relevant. Man, the six counters on this with double bull rack has been insane. So you block here, you take four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, you go two here. Okay. 
Going to one. So you're dead to Bulrax. Let's see if we have any lands left in our deck. Oh, we have a, some Guildgate. Might as well play it. How can I ever choose? How can I ever choose which meme to reference? You know, that's a good question. I don't know if you can. Block one, activate this. They go to six, but then they take four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and they can't activate this and play something. So, okay. Oh. What do you see? 3 7, 5 5. They had the Wind Drake, which I don't really care about. I kind of like the Essence Captures here. Their creatures are kind of ridiculous. So Krasus could get there. Keep cool and keep bull racking. Stay calm and keep bull racking. That's what I always say. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what to do here. This is a, an option. This is an option. The two essence scatters and the slime are an option. Our cyber is actually great. I'm about to bust. I was actually surprised at how much that four the four card mill really affected us. And it's possible we just don't care about anything. Like we could actually just bring in one essence capture maybe instead of a Scorch Mark doesn't seem super relevant against them. We saw a two one in one two two. Whereas like if I can counter like a three five or like a five a three three, three seven, whatever. I could see it. Oh, this hand seems good. If we can hit two lands off the top, I'm really I'm really on board with this with this hand. They also went to six. They're dead. They're dead. They went to five. They're dead. Basically dead. If we can draw land, land. Two lands on, right on the top. We got 17 lands. That's not even one of them. It's going to be real awkward if we go grow spiral. And uh, we, there's no land. <laughs> we're just like, I'll decline to put a land into play. And they're going to be like, wow, you're an idiot. And I'm going to be like, yes, sir, that's true. Oh, they're going to mill four lands. In before four lands. Two lands and open the gates. That's close to four lands. Oh, we got so we're so good at this game. So we're technically not off mana. Like that was turn that was our turn three, so we actually are ahead one. That's actually pretty good. And now we're really we're really living the dream here. Also, Applied Biomancy is really nice against the Law Mage's Binding. You can just bounce your own guy if you have to. I'm a fan of that. One, two, three, four. Now let's do a second green because that's... Well, actually, we'll just use this. We're definitely running our bull rack into this guy. Creatures of Power can't be blocked by Creatures of Power 2 or less. Seems good. They're thinking about it. They're like, do I just use it on this guy? It's pretty good. But then they can just shoot my stuff? I don't know. Mm. 
yeah there you go they figured it out they're like okay you know what i have to do it i gotta commit i'm tempted to just bounce this guy now It's like you're not attacking, right? That's pretty all right. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is seven mana. So if we could hit one more land, we get to Karasis again for three, which is pretty unbelievable with double Biomancy in hand. Oh, God. This card is bonkers, dude. I, I underestimated this card extremely. I don't think that's the thing I could say. I extremely underestimated this card when it first came. When I first saw it, I was like, "Oh, this is expensive. This is a completely expensive. I have no desire to ever cast this thing." Look at it. For eight mana, you get to draw three cards. Sure, but oh, dang it! What a tease. Guess we're getting in there now because you just tapped out. So could have also gotten in the last turn because they tapped out of their black. So. What's this, Crocodile? Razor Gator. My turn. My turn. Uh, six, six, Flyer, draw three. Can kill this with the counter. I think we're just going to keep this until, unless they make this a neuter, unless they neuter this somehow, like, yeah, that's fine. You got it, my dude. This definitely seems like a high alert deck. Well, let's give this guy haste. It doesn't really matter. This guy's not great. You don't want to. You don't want to adapt that guy. Oh, actually, we could have gave him a counter. Oh, that was bad. We could have actually, we could have actually given him a counter, and then shot him. I forgot about the bull rack. There's a lot of interactions in this deck that are. No blocks. Yeah, Crass is a cast trigger. Uh, it, you, you, you do not have to worry about it resolving in order to draw your cards and gain your life. It's pretty nuts. It's a lot of lands. But I guess we're okay with it if we have Applied Biomancy to bounce our Crassus and it just never dies. The Crassus which is dead may never die. That's a little, uh, what's it called? That's a little uh, House Frey reference. No, it's House Greyjoy, isn't it? Yeah, that's a Greyjoy reference. I said fray like a damn amateur. God, I'm so, I'm sad at myself. I'm disappointed in myself. Oh, let's go. Let's do that guy. One, two, three. Giving these guys counters is just amazing when we have. House Frey is just dead. Yeah, they just they're they're all done. Spoiler alert. God, it's too late. I think I, I think it's too late. You're gonna counter this? Deploy. Create two one ones, sure. Always a one one counter. 
Oh, what's awesome is next turn we can actually replay this with Riot and just murder them if they actually attack here. That's pretty insane. Oh, is this game? They gave each uh, for each creature you control. Yeah, that's obnoxious. Final payment on this. All right, so. We don't have any blockers, but we're definitely going to bounce this dude. Peace out. <laughs> and next turn, we actually get to riot them. So it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we get to attack them uh, for like a million, basically a million. I'll take three here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I mean, we just played for all. Oh, I forgot about this guy. Raise a gator. Haste. Eleven, eleven, gross. <laughs> yeah, this is a real card, ladies and gentlemen. This is a real card. We are at twenty-one, and we have eight cards, so we're still good. We won the game. Apparently, Hydroid Crassus and Bolorax. It's a combo. That's a combo. Bull in response, I'll bull rack you. Like you do. Oh, <sighs> that went well. So if you guys were curious on how to uh, how to do well in your drafts, my recommendation would be to open Hydroid Crassus. And open two Rhythm of the Wilds. And, uh, yeah, just add a bunch of other stuff that you like. I'm going to keep this hand. Oh, this is actually great. Turn two, Grow Spiral into turn three, Frilled Mystic. And if any land lets us play Bullrack on four. Valtrex Pomegranate, the P is not capitalized. It is not French. So third third time's a charm. It's also it's also literally everywhere. It's right here on the screen. And it's probably at the top of your browser. And uh, you know, it's pretty much everywhere you uh, you know you can have it, I think. We could play this into this and get like actually this'll work. We can go like this, we can get a gruel gate. And then next turn we can go Island into Simic Guildgate into just Island. Could you send some good luck and positive vibes? I'm preparing my CV to apply for university archive archivist position. Avid fiction out. That sounds awesome, and I hope you get that. Uh, best of luck, everyone. Send avid fiction out some some awesome luck to get that to get that sweet archivist position because that sounds like gasoline. Do they put anything on top? Oh, a ram. I see. Well, hopefully they don't play it now. Hopefully they just play a gate now. They didn't. They, they played a 
to play the regular land. That's unfortunate. I thought they were better than that. So we're probably going to go Gruel Guildgate here, because that lets us play Bulwark no matter what land we draw. And then we can still play um, Island to Frilled Mystic. Heavy breathing. Heavy breathing. Okay, so... Could have actually just played Brush Strider and then played Land so that we have Bulrack next turn. Of course, they played a Gate. I feel like that might have been better. I feel like we're getting... Oh, yeah. All right. That's fine. You know what? That's good enough to counter. I also don't want to just sit on Lands for the rest of my life. If we hit a Land, we can play... Eh, we're just going to play Guild Gate and... We're not going to risk it. I'm just going to play this guy. Oh, I'll take two. Seems good. Oh, Mammoth Spider seems great here. I mean, Bulrak also seems great if we can go Bulrak into Hydroid Crest and just kill this guy, but... So all the lands we draw are going to come and play tap now. This is a 4-4. Four, four. Is that good enough? I don't know. If we draw a land next turn, we can go Grow Spiral and play Bulrak, which I'm okay with. Yep, this guy's a 5-5. Five five. I will gladly just trade two for one here. Like, he could have attacked last turn like this, so I mean... Whatever. If you get to eat both of these guys, it's fine. I already traded one, like... Okay, yeah, that's fine. So basically traded a uh, Brush Strider and a Frilled Mystic for a Ram and a Guild Mage. Which is totally fine. I'm going to grow Spiral because if we hit a land, it's great. And if we don't, that's fine too. Yeah, I think this is actually working out pretty well. And the Hydroid Crest is a great way to refill our hand. So if we can go land into Bulrack, into, or we can actually just pump this guy up. We have lots of options. Okay, I'll double block. Oh, no attacks. Okay. I will not double block then. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Might as well just get a red here. I think it's probably better to pump this guy. But they're playing red, so I'm going to do it right now, actually. I don't want them to untap and then have, like, Scorch Mark or something, so I'm just going to make a 6-6. Six, six. Is it greedy to wait until this is a 6-6? Six, six? Probably not. I mean, probably. I, I don't know. 6-6 six, six flyer versus a 4-4 four, four flyer that draws you an extra card. I think that's good. It almost feels like we're on even footing with them having like one card. Oh, that's pretty good. Really? Oh, actually, oh, well, I didn't realize we were at six life. Okay, so let's find a way to survive here, I guess. We have to block both of these guys. That's pretty good. Wow, that's insane. Wow. Hmm. 
now we're kind of hoping for a land. All right, well, I don't know if this keeps us alive, but if we go to, if we go to seven, actually, yes, because now we can block here. Nope, we're still dead. All right. Yep, we block the biggest guy, we take eight. Wow, that's pretty incredible. Biogenic upgrade, ladies and gentlemen. Kind of like a rester's admonition here. I think I want a rhythm. Yeah, that was a shocking turn of events. Magic is a game. There was a turner I thought rammed in attack, but it did. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Well, that's Mulligan. That's probably a keep. Huh. Badger with the gifted subs. Buddy, really appreciate it. Wow. You are the hero we need. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you. I will keep this hand. Oh uh, yeah, we'll keep you. Yeah, if we didn't win with our last with that last hand, I don't I don't foresee us actually doing much more with this hand. I think there was definitely a turn. Always a pleasure for you, buddy. Alright, we're gonna mod. Oh uh, yeah. Like I feel like there was, we probably could have played the three drop, played the Frilled Mystic, had the Bulrack on board. I think we actually, we misprioritized the Frilled Mystic. I think if they didn't have any pressure, we'd have been great holding it up, but they did, so it wasn't as good. I mean, this is where we're going to go turn three, uh, four, four, and it's just going to be pretty brutal. Thank you. Kubi, thank you so much for the, for the, for the bits. Really appreciate it. Chickity Jaws, thanks for the uh, bull rack biddies. Appreciate that. Okay, this is actually fine. Actually, probably going to play this guy now since they have nothing on board. Yeah, I, for some reason, I'm missing vigilance attacks. I don't understand it. Uh, Sure. I'll allow it. Now their blood, their bloodlust is triggered. Is that what I'm? Is that the what's that what I'm looking for? Is that the word? Is that the ability? Sure. All right. So now we're now we have the initiative, and they have to put something else down in order to deal with the uh, the rhino. Also, we get to apply Biomancy to Frilled Mystic at some point, which is pretty sweet. <laughs> Does he have it? Does he have it? Nobody knows. Does he have it? Maybe. Hard to say. Does he? Does he have it? He has it. God, they always have it, don't they? Without a red, I'm not going to rely on having like a scorch mark to deal with that guy. Yeah, let's use yeah, let's use his ability. Sure.
Well, here comes something big. Scuttle Gator. Well, that is big. Could have bounced this attack for four or five, I guess. I don't think that does anything. Could bounce it now. Attack for eight. Is that a thing you care about? Seems like a good amount of damage. fight. Seems good. Should have waited, apparently. <sighs> the old never don't have it school of Magic the Gathering. One, two, three, five, six, seven. I mean, I would be fine to the Karasas here. They're going to play their Gator. Still fine with the Karasas. They're gonna pump this guy and attack for eight, right? That's that's how it's happening right now. Not not loving it. Not loving it. Ah, yes, cancel. I don't know why that was up there to begin with. Wow, they just didn't play. Fascinating. Yep, alright, so this is pretty much the end. I think we misplayed this Applied Biomancy here. We probably got a little too greedy when they have Titanic. We didn't see a Titanic Brawl, and also, like, I didn't put them on having Titanic Brawl there. card is busted yep again we go to eight and we have no answer for two eight eights so biogenic upgrade for every single win that guy's trample so let's go with the non-trampler sure <laughs> nailed it all right those games were uh shockingly close they weren't that close at all and uh we're gonna keep on rolling come on hydroid crassus you can do it i believe in you I believe in our deck. I really do. This hand is a snap keeper. A snapper keeper, if you will. Okay, I like the double brush strider against the uh, presumably aggressive red deck. Presumably, he says. Tempted to actually just bounce that now just to if they pump it I'm definitely bouncing it
I feel like the tempo is actually more important here, unfortunately. And these guys can trade with this, so that's fine. attacks I like it a land I like it we could have actually hydroid crassus there for a 2-2 two -two. draw one card it's basically a baby ball drifter <sighs> you want to spew we're ahead here they didn't want to spew they're like no I'm good no, no spewing for me okay I'll block. Okay. The problem is we don't want to double block because if they give it first strike and death touch, then we lose both our guys. So that was fine. Me bull rack. Maybe could have attacked there, but then we just take four from the Hackerbat. And one from the Trumpeter, which is not ideal. Okay, some sort of... Yeah, that's fine. I like that this Bulrack actually kills everything they have. Wow, that, that makes it even better. So we can go Styrofoam Hybrid. Bulrack kill this. They'll take two, but it'll be a 4-4. Four, four, and then like they'll have to double block, but then they still get to trade with one. YouTube eventually not not right this second but yes soon I'm gonna kill this now because the death touch is annoying and I'll trade either of like I don't want to I don't want them to double block here and then we get actually we get to kill both eh, I still don't think it's worth it I think Bulrax is probably better eh, maybe it's not because then they can still double block and I don't know Yeah, this is a fine trade. I accept. I mean, this is just a trade here. Otherwise, we take one, and I don't, I'm not really scared about Spectacle because they already have a way to trigger Spectacle if they really want to. That card's good. It has Death Touch. That's unfortunate. 
Don't round down. Where are my lands at? The problem is this guy's utterly insane, so I'm just gonna actually I'm gonna offer the trade with Bullrack and then we'll just play another Bullrack. Yep. All right, multiple borax. Multiple borax. Like you do. Bullrack isn't boltable. That's true. Yeah, this card seems insane. I actually like this card a lot, and I think this card should seem some amount of constructed play. As a 3-2 with Menace and Death Touch for 3, like, it's already on... on... like, on... Well, costed well. It's, it's well costed. And then the fact that it gives all of your spells Death Touch, like, you can Lightning Helix it has Death Touch, your Lightning Bolts have Death Touch, your Skewer the Critics have Death Touch. The problem is that there aren't a ton of creatures being thrown around in standard, I guess. <laughs> oh man, good times. Okay, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Now we're bull racking. All of our lands will not come into play untapped. They have four cards in hand. I don't understand what's going on. Is this a... This feels like a get out, get, get out, get the plan, get the way, get out of the way. The five mana one? You know, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, get the point. There we go. Yep. Had a feeling. Get the tip, get to the chopper. Yeah, it's, it's one of those. Get out the way. Get to get the point. No blocks, man. This guy is going the distance over here. Move, Mitch. Get out the way. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a classic right there. A little blade juggly. Okay. Doesn't seem that much better than Cloud Blazer. Prove me wrong. Wow. One, two, three, four. So we have a four. We can we can play as a four four right now and draw two cards and gain two life, which seems pretty good. If we hit a land, I'll just play it for a five five. Okay, that's kinda like a land. Which means I actually one, two, three, four. I'm actually just gonna play open the gates, play the land. And then pump up your boy. Yikes, this is going to be awkward if they have Scorch Mark. Don't have Scorch Mark. Don't have Scorch Mark. Okay, you're putting me in a position where I don't actually have to Scorch. I don't have to out of the pump here, so that's okay. Mm. 
now we're hoping for that that land that land off the top six mana okay okay I am stoked for Florida we got to figure out how to get elk tears and Lafoff to Florida we're trying to plan something in our text messages Okay, okay. At least I was gonna... Florida is a silly place. You're a pretty silly person though, John. So, I mean, you know. No blocks. We're going to take four. If this is actually another get the point, I'd be... Yeah, that's actually great. Wow. Because now we can just play Karasas for a million. Oh, wow. Draw three, gain three, six, six flyer. Yep, yeah, that's a card, all right. <laughs> get him to the, I've actually, I haven't seen get him to the Greek. My parents want to move to Florida, but they're terrified of storms. So I'm like, uh, happy retirement. Well, like, I mean, do you, like, there's nowhere you could live where there's not some sort of natural element you shouldn't be afraid of. Storms are not that bad. I've lived in Florida for most of my life and like, it's just sad. Space? Yeah, there's no natural dangers in space, actually. That's a good point. I hadn't considered space. I think they're tanking on how to deal with this. They're like, do I have a way to deal with this? I don't know. What's going on? Hey, what's going on? We're having a good time. Everybody's having a good time. It's like the waiting game over here. <laughs> I'm going to tap a couple red. I'm going to untap a couple red. Today, Junior. Okay. For two. Discard a card, then draw a card. You got it. Got rid of your big boy. Your big beefy bull rack. I feel like taking four here is fine. They're on a two-turn clock. Hmm. 
That's a dude, isn't it? That is a big, beefy boy. That is a lot of things you just put onto the board, my friend. And we'll get you for eight. And then hope we don't die. You have no cards in hand, so I think we're okay here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We block here, sure. If you get rid of this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. If you can pump, pump. If you do like scorch mark, we're dead. But like we have to go for it, so. Elk Tears, have you not had the Impossible Burger yet? Uh, so you're going to be 4 damage. You can only pump this twice. You can pump it once. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, we're just going to block the most damage, which is 4. So even if you pump you once, it's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We go to 4, and I don't think you can deal 4 damage with one card. So. I, I, I'm a big Impossible Burger fan. It is delicious. Actually, maybe I'll have one tonight. Maybe I'll go have an Impossible Burger tonight. Did you ever think about that? You probably didn't. I understand. I'm actually tempted to just bring in like these idiot feral makas and this like slime bind. Just to have things to deal with their early guys. We'll take out one rhythm again. I think against these glow to the ground aggressive decks we don't really need rhythms that much. I don't even hate this O3. Hmm. Fascinating. I also like that East Restaurant has its own take, but one thing I do like is being able to customize it. So I just want to go to a regular burger joint and order the Impossible Burger uh, the way I would get like a regular burger. So that I feel like I can get like... So I feel like I'm getting burgers that I used to eat when I ate meat, but like in Impossible form. I was talking in the car yesterday. I'm like, I would friggin' love if someone had a Big Mac version of of the Impossible Burger. Because I'm like, the tastes in the Big Mac are great. Like... The special sauce, the onions, the pickles. Like, it's a great it's a great combination. It's a classic combination. But, um, obviously, unless McDonald's starts carrying it, um, it's going to be hard to replicate, I would imagine. What do we bring in? We brought in one Feral Maka. Or we're playing 41. Um, yeah, Slime Bind seems fine. Actually, Sage's Wrist Savant's probably better than the Maka, right? Okay, we'll do that instead. Oh, there it is. This is the hand, boys. This is the hand. I was just kidding. It's not the hand. It was actually the worst. This is actually hand is not great either. But we do have things to do, I guess. Ugh. Okay, that's a better. There we go. There we go. We're getting somewhere. The Impossible Burger is the most I've been impressed with a um, a vegetarian burger option in a long time. Okay, this hand just got immensely better. I don't think we brushed right. I think we probably gruel lock it because if we hit another blue, we can frilled mystic. Can you stop playing things? That would be really... Now I kind of want to just brush rider here because I don't want to take a million.
Thank you. Uh, you know what? I'm not even opposed to blocking here. Twister, thank you so much for the resub. Five months in a row. Wow, that is a good amount of time. God, we've gone so far. I'm going to block here because it's a 3-2. This dude is a real son of a biscuit. Yeah, this is going to be brutal. Yep, that is a thing. I don't know how we beat this guy because they're gonna they're gonna ping us, so we're gonna go to ten. Uh, if then if you have ten or less life, oh, all right, so it's we're still we're still in blocking shape. Oh boy, this guy's a real piece of work. I mean, this is a lot of damage. Yep. Yep. Well then, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah, this game. Okay, well, knowing they have this flo floaty boy. Sagittar's Volley could be decent. Wasn't there another, f yeah, we actually have Colossus and Collision, which is probably just as good, if not better. Okay, that guy is a dude we want to get rid of. I just want to cut the other growth spiral. All right, we're one we're one win away from our two one. We have seventeen lands and two gates. I feel like we should be, not be having land issues, but you know, magic is hard, guys. Magic's hard. All right, we can do this. We can keep it. If we draw and open the gates here, then into a Gruel Guild gate, that would be pretty much gas. Not terrible. It does give us three drop into four drop, so I'm okay with that. The two damage, the two life in the blocker is pretty relevant here, so. Yep, don't care about that guy. Now Grill Gilgate. No, oh, okay, that's actually good. All right, we're doing okay here. We're doing okay. Even Karasis for two. It's just a two-two. Gains us a life and draws us a card. It's just a baby mole drifter that we can bounce at some point. Uh, 
I kind of just want to block here. Like... Baby mole drifter, do 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 do. Oh God, why, why, Josh? I think this is fine. Like I think he's already done his job at that point, so it's like, okay, I've gained two. They were trying to, yeah, they were trying to hit us. Oh God, do not play. Every game on turn X. Yep, this card's very good. Yep. Another one two guys. Another one two incoming. I don't understand. I don't know how I don't know how to draft this format. Are we going too greedy with the three color decks? Should we just strictly be two colors? It just doesn't feel great. I don't feel like we've hit rhythm. We have again, we're playing a deck with two rhythms. I don't think we've hit rhythm once on turn three at any given point. Um, actually, we do want the Mammoth Spider. I don't know if we want the Guild Gate. Actually, we can play both of these next turn. No, we can't. That's not how magic works. We can play Mammoth Spider into Guild Gate. I think we're going to bottom the Guild Gate and just keep Mammoth Spider on top. I like being able to block here. Oh, what are we doing here? Oh, this is going to be great. Oh, this is actually really good. Wow. <laughs> Turn around. <laughs> That's pretty good. Feeling okay about that. Feeling okay. Would it make you feel better if I sang you a video of me singing the Lady Gaga song Shallow as featured in the Academy Award nominated film Star is Born? Yeah, I think so. I think that would make me feel better. Oh, we should have actually kept the Simic Guildgate. Then we could have played Bulrak and... And then had six for Crassus. Okay, just just a big old just a big old dumb turn. Seems good. Although we did we kept this with the with the thought that they were gonna have their their big boy. 
their big demon boy out. So we're just taking four here. Oh, all right. We're going to trade these? I'm, I'm game. Having Bulwark out first is nice because if we end up playing Crassus, we can actually take some counters off and kill this guy. Maybe Shark. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, that's enough of that. All right. Elk Tears, wonderful. <laughs> the video is in two parts. It clearly is. It clearly is. Let's see the second part. I wonder if the second part's any better. Come off the deep end. Watch as I dive in. I'll never meet the ground. All right. And I am, I personally am blown away. God, it's gorgeous. That was just magnifique, as we say in the French. I just want to bash with Bullrack here. If they want to trade, I'm, I'm, God, I'm on board. Don't Bullrack me, bro. Wait, that would be me. I'm the Bullracker. I am the Bull. The, the, <laughs> I can't. None of that sounds okay. All right. Well, that's good. We're just going to six for here. I don't want to be like... They're at ten, so this guy's going to start doing the deed. I ain't about that. So we're just hoping you don't have Bedevil in your hand. Killing this guy attacking for five is pretty brutal. We do get to Sylvan Brushstrider, though. Part one was recorded in Paris. Part two in New York City. Wow, God, you're such a man about town. Uh, not gonna block. They also have five minutes. We have sixteen minutes, so let's just open them gates. We got five, six, seven. We can play multiple things this turn if we get a. We'll just get a forest. Play the forest. Four, five, six. Okay, that seems good. One, two, three. I think, so we take two from here. It's five, six, seven. It's going to force safe when they're at one card, but we play two guys. And we also have a counter to shoot them with. I think that's fine. They have to have removal, removal spell, right? This is actually going to be a 6-6. Six, six. So 6-7-8. Six, Where I'd almost rather just play Mammoth Spider to just throw it in front of this guy. If they have a removal spell, though, then they get to deal 6-7-8. Double block here. Shoot here. Actually, that's that should be okay. Yeah, alright. Let's, let's risk it for a Labiscuit. They could also have just nothing in hand. Because they're dead to Bullrack next turn. Oh god, just don't have anything. I mean, if they have a Scorch Mark to try to kill one of our big guys, we can always just Bullrack in this. That's actually fine. I think that might be the end. Mm-hmm. They did not shoot in response. Okay. 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 Don't have haste. Okay. Maybe 
Heavy breathing. Heavy breathing. It's okay. We got this. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're alive. They have one card. If they attack here, we block and then kill them. Go to the old combat step. I see no reason not to block with this. Okay, so... What we can do is EOT shoot them. And we're just going to shoot twice, right? Yeah, getting this off the board actually makes shooting twice extremely... Oh, it's got to be... Blo oh, it's got menace. All right. Three? We just take three? The problem is if their last card is skewer the, skewer the Critics, it's bad. I think we're just double blocking here and going all in on the ball rack here. Yeah, this is not great. If like, But the game's not going to last more than this turn, right? So just use both these guys. Oh, they already dealt damage for skewer the Critics. Oh, we're an end step. It's a sorcery. Oh, all right. We did it. Wow. <sighs> all right. We 2 one We 2 one We did it. Whew. All right. Thank goodness. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, I'm, or if you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. I'm just sending the YouTube video. But thank you for watching on YouTube. Thank you so much. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Patreon and on Twitch. Links are in the description below. And you can check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And you'll help the stream. I will get a kickback. You will get a discount. You will get the softest micromodal underwear that you can think of. And you can wear them. And you can let me know that you've enjoyed them. And we'll have a connection. We'll have an experience. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.